I think what we have provided over the years is to make the invisible visible. The data and information that ICRW equips us with is really critical. It's vital to have the good research solidly based and to be able to draw on it. I see how the ideas of ICRW can change lives dramatically. Since 1976, ICRW has been privileged to work around the globe with women overcoming extreme hardship while fulfilling their roles as farmers, income earners, and family caregivers. The majority of these women are illiterate and deny the very basic economic and human rights. ICRW's research has proven that when these women are empowered and given access to economic resources, their lives and their societies experience lasting, positive change. That is why ICRW and its partners are committed to issues where they can make a difference, such as reducing domestic violence, expanding property rights, improving education and nutrition, and reducing women's vulnerability to HIV AIDS. Microbicides were thought about in the late 1980s, early 1990s by women's activist groups and ICRW was one of the main groups that was thinking about women's lives and the context of women's lives within the HIV AIDS epidemic. If I go to a policymaker and tell them a story uh, without data, it, 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 it feels to them as though um, I've, I'm, I'm pulling out a few anecdotes uh, to make a point. To have the data uh, that ICRW provides gives uh, substance and, and background. ICRW is one of the great world leaders uh, on uh, all of the challenges of women's rights, women's empowerment, uh, the role of women in society. That's why I asked the ICRW leaders to lead the effort on gender uh, equity for the Millennium Development Goals and for the UN Millennium Project. It's women, women that are out in the fields. Women are the farmers uh, in Africa. They're the caregivers. Uh, they're carrying the water. They're carrying the fuel wood. And they, they carry this uh, tremendous burden, but they're also therefore a direction out of poverty. So if you want to understand the role of women, if you want to understand gender equity, if you want to understand how to get uh, girls in school, how to fight violence against women, you go to ICRW, that's, that's obvious. That was a no-brainer. What I like is the idea of um, listening very much to those who are, after all, the experts, those who deal with extreme poverty, the barriers, the gender-based violence, the lack of property and status, and they know themselves what the solution should be. The trouble is, how do we get their voice heard? And I, I like the fact that ICRW is determined to get those voices out. And it's why I think ICRW is very respected in the human rights community, because they're not coming with the answers already thought up and applying them locally. They're coming to dig deep and find out what are the real solutions, and then make those voices heard. Bringing people and organizations together, building capacities and exchanging insights and perspectives. These are hallmarks of ICRW's approach to its work. Partnerships are critical to ICRW's effectiveness. ICRW is a particularly good partner because it has now 30 years of research and experience and it's learning and adapting all the time. It's staying close to grassroots, it's listening. We're all involved in a network of action and in this sense partnership is a very fundamental part of the cooperation that's needed to actually solve these problems. It's the only way uh, that ICRW can really sort of multiply uh, its capacity and really bring the message uh, to the policymakers. I feel we have an incredible opportunity and also an incredible responsibility. And that's why responsible businesses, philanthropists, individuals uh, in, in their daily lives are saying, how can I get involved? Supporting organizations like ICRW is a critical part of the answer. ICRW has contributed groundbreaking work 
to help many, many players in the field, help women in all sorts, in all aspects of their lives. And we are very indebted to ICRW for doing this work that is so crucial for women throughout the world. We need long-term solutions. ICRW is able to point the way. If you can strengthen women in the poorer nations of this world, if you can give them the education they need, if we can give them the, uh, the nutrition they need, the access to the services they need, um, I feel confident that we'd have a much, much better place to live in, that this world would be a better place because we invested in women.